Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for taking the time to watch and support this video. Appreciate it very much. Last night I was sitting right here uh, before heading off to bed and I decided I wanted to do a little bit of homework, a little web browsing, check out what's going on in the smartphone world. And I came across some information that my Razer phone was going to be getting 8.1. Right now I'm running 7.1.1 Nougat. So Android O Oreo coming to my Razer phone. So out of curiosity, I went into settings. About phone, Android 7.1.1. Click the system update. And lo and behold, check it out. How awesome is this? A new software update is available for the Razer phone. The update includes Android O 8.1 updates, skipping 8.0 right to 8.1, Nova Launcher update, other bug fixes, and system improvements, which I'm sure they're going to be working on the cameras again. Uh, this is, I think, my fourth uh, software update to my Razer phone. Shout out to Razer for staying on top of this device and uh, getting these updates out. Man, they are doing awesome. Now going to 8.1. Uh, if you remember back in January, there was a uh, software update that brought us HDR and Dolby Digital Plus 5.1 uh, when streaming Netflix. And again, there was some improvements to the cameras with some software updates. And the, the, one of those updates was over at the Play Store as well. So not only will you get a uh, over-the-air software update, but you'll get updates over in the play store as well so uh, i have videos on all that on all that information so you can go check all that out but this is cool so yeah i didn't head off to bed as as soon as i wanted to uh as quick as i wanted to because now i was intrigued i wanted to find out what my device was going to be getting so i took some screenshots and uh right now let me just go over to dolby atmos the layout of the dolby atmos app on my razor phone looks like this right over here Okay, and that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so a little more to play with to fine tune the audio when listening to music, watching movies or videos. So I don't mind this layout of here, but they're going to give me uh, more options uh, to utilize again to fine tune the audio quality that I'm receiving from these two large speakers, top and bottom there incredible sound phenomenal speakers Dolby Atmos is now going to get better uh, the other thing in display they're going to give you an option that's uh, going to be labeled colors so you can um, enhance the visual quality of this 5.7 inch IPS LCD display when watching movies videos or when gaming uh, you are going to have natural boosted and vivid so that's going to be super cool right now. That option is not in there. So um, let me uh, go to settings and go to display. So when in display, there should be the option colors, and it's not in there. Okay, so we will have that. Looking forward to that. And um, while in display, you will also have a tap to sleep. We already have a tap to wake. And I'll show you that right here. But you notice below that, under the, uh, when uh, the software update has been downloaded, you're going to have that tap to sleep as well. And um, I'm going to download this uh, software update and see what that looks like and uh, I'll share that with you as well one other area that I wanted to talk about really quick here before I download 8.1 onto my Razer phone once I have the latest software update on my Razer phone will it support Project Treble now Project Treble is Google's attempt to modularize Android in a nutshell like the article reads here Treble separates all the low-level device drivers known as the vendor implementation OEMs carriers from the rest of Android. This makes updating smartphones, tablets to the latest version of Android much easier and faster for manufacturers as long as they already support Treble. All the OEMs and, and carriers have to do is modify their software to the latest software update. This process is going to be minimized. The steps taken is going to be minimized and that's a good thing for all of us. It's going to be working in the background 
And yes, not everything's perfect, but as time goes on, that should be really good for us, a huge positive. So there are a list of devices updated to support trouble. I'm going to be leaving the link down below in the description area, Android Police, this article here, so you can check out the list. And then there's a uh, there's devices updated to Oreo without treble. And this is going to be changing, so make sure you do your homework. XDA Developers has a great article on this as well. Uh, there are YouTube videos explaining what Project Trouble is, how it works for you, how it will work for us moving forward. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just do your homework and anything that you want to talk about uh, with me. Leave some information down below in the comment section, and I will do my best to get back to you. So wanted to throw that in there. And um, anyway, let's download Android 08.1 onto my Razor phone. Sweet, we now have the software update installed. Let's go into settings. And as you can see here, the settings page, the layout looks a bit different, looks really good. Down at the bottom of the settings page, before the software update, this area right here used to read about phone Android 7.1.1. It now says system. We're going to tap on that area. And on the second page, that's where we find about phone and we tap on that area and it takes us to the Android version 8.1.0, Android security patch level February 5th, 2018. And I'm sure Razer will be uh, sending out uh, security patches uh, for uh, March and April as well here soon. I don't see Razer at any time stopping in what they've been doing when it comes to software updates, whether it's been over the air or through the Play Store. Uh, just bettering the experience of the user on this device, especially in the camera areas when taking pics and shooting video. And I'm sure that this software update had something to do with that. I don't know every area uh, that has been um, fixed or added to this device uh, with this update, but when I find out, I'll let everybody know. Uh, let's tap on the Android version there to bring up the Oreo cookie. There we go. Totally digging that. Looking forward to Android P as well um, and uh, Project Linda, a second generation Razer phone as well. And uh, yeah, now uh, Razer, uh, the Razer phone supports uh, Project Treble. So software updates should be pretty uh, fast and, uh, and simple or simple and fast. And uh, but we'll see, you know, um, that's 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 the goal of what Project Treble is going forward. So i um, looking forward to more from Razer when it comes to their smartphones. So totally digging that. Uh, there were some areas that we do know about that has changed. So let's go in and check it out and make sure that has happened. So let's go to display. As you can see now, we have an advanced option there. And in that option, we now have tap to sleep, a double tap lock screen to sleep. So that has been added. That wasn't there before. We can turn that on, turn that off. But what I was looking forward to is that colors. That wasn't there before, and so if we tap on that area, you now have natural boosted and vivid. You have a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display. It's a 2K display. It's a wonderful, beautiful, vivid, sharp display when watching movies, videos, and for you gamers, it's. I'm sure it's doing a great job uh, with the visual quality when you're gaming. But now you have this option to just boost and enhance your visual experience while gaming or watching videos or movies. I'm, I'm more about media when it comes to my movies and videos. I watch a lot on my smartphones. So let's let's uh, pull this up a little closer to my LG V20 and let's go to natural. So look at the yellow bar up top where it says colors. I'm gonna go to boost it and see how much that changes. There's a little bit of change there. Let's go to vivid. And yes, so back to natural, to vivid. So you can see 
a little more saturated. The color is not as dull. It, it just it, it it becomes more vivid. It becomes a little more sharper. Um, so visually, I'm looking forward to that when watching movies. So boosted. Yeah, you can ever so slightly see that, and and all it takes is a little bit to enhance your visual experience. Doesn't matter what you'll be doing on this phone. I totally dig this option a lot. And uh, the other area was the Adobe Atmos app. So let's go ahead and get into that area. There is the uh, button that you're going to tap on to turn on and off. It used to be located on the left-hand side. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And over on the left-hand side, you now have those three little lines. Tap on that. It's going to give you a demo. Uh, you're going to be able to um, customize your uh, audio quality for your headphones, uh, explore Dolby and tutorial, and you have options up top, dynamic movie, music, game, voice, custom. Custom is going to give you a lot to play with there. So you can check all that out. You have bass enhancer, intelligent equalizer, surround virtualizer, and dialogue enhancer. A little too much for me to be playing with. Um, I'm pretty simple and easy. Easy, pretty. Um, uh, I'll pretty much just utilize the music and probably dynamic. Who knows? Either way, let's uh, turn on some music. Go back to the Adobe Atmos app here. Turn that up. So you can see it changes just by tapping on these different options. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. All right. As soon as I find out everything that has changed for my Razer phone, I will let everybody know. Keep watching. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited with, with what Razer's doing. They have done so much to enhance my experience in every possible area with the Razer phone. No regrets. This device uh, is just phenomenal. I know there are some of you out there that don't care for it, but there's a group of us that really do love our Razer phones. And um, they've had one uh, price drop of $100 over at the Razer website. It lasted only for three days. You have to be subscribed to their newsletter, uh, get their emails. And um, once you do that, they're going to be dropping the price on this device ever so often, okay, uh, until the second generation uh, Razer phone comes out. You're going to see it go on sale for 100 maybe even a little more than that as we move closer and closer to the announcement of the second generation. So getting the newsletter, getting the emails, uh, you know, is going to let you know when the price is going to drop. The first time they did it, it was only for three days. So um, I would advise you to to get get uh, signed up with Razer if you are interested in this device and if you uh, are looking forward to seeing the price drop on it so you can pick up the device and enjoy what Razer has been doing. Uh, they have not been a letdown at all as a company. They have been faithful with their software updates. They have been good to their customer base and I, I am totally stoked with this company and looking forward to more and more from them. So, all right, everybody. The Razer phone, 8.1. Android O, Oreo. Peace. God bless. I'm out.